Hello, and welcome to this new webinar from Sony and Ubicast. I'm David, and today I'm accompanied by Thomas uh, from Sony. We're, we're going to talk today about a collaboration between Sony and Ubicast to bring you the best tools uh, to use and integrate content into your LMS. Uh, Thomas, why don't you tell me a little bit more about you? Of course, David. So my name is Thomas Issa. I'm working for Sony Professional as the Corporate and Education Solution Manager. So basically, my role is really to plan, market, and deliver the solutions that we believe are required for corporate companies and universities. And my name is David. I work for Ubicas as the Northern Europe Sales Manager. Some of you might have seen me uh, doing the rounds around your, your, your universities, I'm sorry. Um, and Thomas, tell us a little bit more about the cooperation between Sony and Ubicas, the, the history of, of uh, Sony uh, vision for education. Of course. So before to get there, really what's really important is that at Sony, our main objective, our main goal, is really to make sure that we are able to provide you with the right solutions for you to be able to focus on what matters the most, pedagogy and teaching. At the end of the day, what we really aim for is for us to be the tools that you need to achieve your teaching objectives and your teaching ambition. To achieve that, we focus on what we think is the right focus, collaborative learning excellence, access to dynamic high quality experience, and what's important is that it is in the campus and outside the campus. So when you look into your campus today, this is exactly the approach that we decided to take. For the students, when they arrive in the university, in the reception, the guests, the visitors, with virtual reception solution, digital signage, of course, inside the campus to find your way with wayfinding solutions, with classroom checking attendance management, inside the classroom with active learning and our vision exchange solution, of course, also the solutions for you to be able to manage efficiently your campus, the scheduling, the content with our TIOS campus management solution, and obviously in the larger class and the auditorium with lecture capture. The way we work is really simple. Some of the solutions that we provide are developed jointly with our Japanese engineer in Japan, like the vision exchange or like the hardware that we deliver, displays, projectors, cameras, and so on. Some of these solutions are also done here in Europe, like our TIOS campus management solution, and time to time, what we do is simply to look into the market, what we believe is the best solution for the best requirement, and we try to work jointly as partners in order to continue to deliver you with what we believe, again, is the right solution. As a matter of fact, this is exactly what we have done with you, David, and with Ubicast. As at Sony, we really found that Ubicast is, in our view, the best class provider of video and lecture capture solutions for universities. And actually, this is maybe also a good time for you, David, maybe to introduce a little bit to Ubicast. Yeah, I'm sure that there's uh, quite a few viewers that come from uh, the Sony side of things today. So let me tell you a little bit about who we are as a company. Um, we are a French company uh, based out of Paris. Uh, we are 11 years old now. Oh, nice. um, 11 years this year. Um, we count with around 25 uh, employees in total, delivering every service from uh, production all the way to support. Um, I happen to be the only employee that works outside the HQ. Uh, as some of you know, I, I, I live in Dublin. Um, we count now with about 350 customers around, and we're almost at the mark of 1,000 systems installed. Nice. Um, which for a technology like ours is, is, is a big deal. Um, how does it work, right? Uh, we have a, a number of solutions that are divided in two parts, hardware and software, um, to allow the integration uh, into the systems that are existing in the university, uh, such as uh, planification, scheduling, um, and uh, even metadata extraction from uh, syllabus. Um, we are as unintrusive as possible because we understand that uh, the technology needs to integrate into your systems, not uh, you into us, right? Um, we allow planning recordings, living the recordings or doing live streams uh, such as now, and um, delivery and analytics of that content. Um, 
In fact, a little bit of how it works uh, in a regular uh, classroom. You would have the presenters, which uh, in your screen right now, uh, well, we have two. Um, we have our source of content, which is what you're seeing on uh, the left side of the screen. And at the right-hand side of the screen, you will see the social interaction uh, sidebar from Ubicas, which is unique uh, to our player and will allow you to introduce comments, questions, remarks. So uh, I would invite you guys to uh, interact with us today using uh, the thought bubble on uh, the right hand side of the screen and uh, make your questions because we will, taking, uh, we will, we will be taking questions uh, at the end of the presentation. Okay. What's really interesting also is that the system that you can view here, that we offer, of course, for the classroom, is actually exactly what we are using right now in the live studio in Paris of Ubicast, with the Sony camera, which is above the screen right now, and that you are, I mean, seeing the live stream from your computers today, the microphones that we have over here, and, of course, the Ubicast solution, which is over here. Yes, exactly. So it, it's a very simple and unintrusive system to use. Uh, all we have done today is uh, connect our source of content, which is my laptop in this case, uh, with the presentation attached to it. Um, our colleague Antoine here uh, doing the moderation for us today uh, is going to hit the live button and we are on the air for you. So. Um, to make this available to you on Video On Demand, we will be using uh, pre-established mm -hmm. algorithms that will run uh, OCR detection, keyword extraction, and um, slide detection uh, so that the content that you get in your house when you're re-watching this content or maybe even watching it through your LMS is um, fully automated, rich in, uh, rich in nature, and searchable. Um, let's go over a little bit about the summary of what we're going to do today, Thomas. Um, so we're going to start with the impact of video for social learning, and then uh, we are going to talk about the integration of that content into your LMS. And like David said, at the end of the webinar, what we will do is really to take the time to answer, not maybe not all the questions that you have, but some of the questions. For those who have not the chance to have answers to that question, we will come back to you probably after the webinar. And please really don't hesitate to interact because at the end of, of the day, our goal is really to make sure that you leave this webinar with the answer that we were looking for. Perfect. So let's move on, on to um, the impact of video for <coughs> social learning. Um, I think that actually that's something that is very important and I'm pretty sure that you are all very familiar with this type of data. But really when you look into it, that when you see that today there is more than 4 billion Google search just for learning on the web on a single day basis, that there is even more search on YouTube and video viewed on YouTube, more than 8 billion, and actually 1 billion of these 8 billion are learning videos to you know, like learn something out of YouTube. It's really crazy. It, yeah, it, in fact, um, it takes us to the, uh, the rise of user-generated content. Uh, user-generated content is uh, c content that uh, like we're just saying, uh, is being created without uh, all the f bells and whistles from production companies or so on. It is uh, from me to you so that you can learn about a, a specific topic. And when we, when we look at um, content creation since 2007, it has more than tripled um, in terms of uh, quantity and quality as well. We have even uh, the explosion of MOOCs and companies dedicated solely to the placing in uh, distribution of uh, short courses. So for those of you who don't know what a MOOC is, is a massive online open course. It's a course that anybody can join. You can do it at your own pace, but there <clears throat> is a level of interaction with uh, the content provider and there is a task at hand. So you can get certified on several things online from your home, all the while doing your regular studies or uh, your day job. So uh, in terms of that, um, what do you think, Tom? Uh, Thomas has been the the, the evolution of <laughs> thanks uh, has been the evolution of, <clears throat> of of this within the learning environment, within the university environment. And actually, this is like an evolution which is very interesting because it also reflects what we are Sony as a company. 
If you look into us, into what we were able to offer to you a couple of years ago, everything was about products, projectors, displays, cameras, for example, which are still, of course, today an important part of what we do, but back then we had only that. For us, the first step in order to be able to really provide you with the right solution and also to you know, like follow the evolution of technology was really to be able to understand who you are as a university with your LMS, with your VLE system, with learning management, and so on, in order for us to be able to, do, to go to the next step. Of course, the objective is not to tell you what is the right pedagogy and how you should teach your students, but really to be able to offer you the solutions and you know, like the hardware, software, and the service in order for you to have the right tool for the right need. So the next step based on that was really lecture capture, which is of course the point with today and you biggest. And I think that that's a little bit of, or a lot of it, of the partnership between Sony and Ubicast that uh, that integration <coughs> of uh, lecture capture services uh, into what is already existing, your screens, your uh, the, the VLE from the university, where the automatization and, uh, like we were saying before, the unobtrusiveness of a system being put in place at a at a university, an institution where uh, we don't want uh, your teachers to have. Um, so. <laughs> We don't want your teachers to have uh, any intrusive new methods. So we don't want the teachers to be um, overwhelmed by the introduction of a new system, yet another system, which is why we're doing this webinar today to show you how to quickly and easily integrate your content into the existing LMS without even having to leave that LMS. Now, after lecture capture, one of the things that we have noticed together within our partnership is um, active learning and, and the, the rise of the flipped classroom. So that's where you come in into this partnership now. Yes, of course. What was really important for us was also to be able to look into the class and into the way that you wanted to bring the teaching and bring you know, the class to your students. And what we noticed was really the importance of the group learning, like to share content, to be able to interact with students in a daily basis in a very simple way. And this is how we came up with Vision Exchange, so our active learning solution, in order to make sure that inside your classroom, inside your campus, you are able to offer active learning solutions to your students, for them to be able to interact very simply between themselves in a group, with the teacher, of course, to share the content from any device in a very simple way, and of course, to be able to interact on it, to discuss on it, and to learn from it. Well, and that, that will just only take us to the next step in the evolution, which I think uh, is going to be uh, learning designed by AI. When you take a look at all of the previous steps that are in our screens right now, metadata, flipping the classroom, and all of the data mining we can gather from the the type of video that our students are watching, then we're going to be able to customize that and, and take it into a more <laughs> personalized learning, don't you think? And I think this is really the most important next step for us that we are looking at today. It's really that today there is a lot of different ways to learn information, to see information, to share information. And we have a lot of data available in order to see what content is liked, what content is used, what content is, I mean, not used at all in order for us to be able to really go to the next step and to really customize the content on profile, per profile, per students, to make sure that the learning is specialized, is customized to one single individual and not to classroom or group of students anymore. So video and education, um, historically, uh, we would either live stream a conference, uh, we would use it for very specific things. Uh, when, when we started doing lecture capture, we would have uh, sources being captured and simply the class being put for review. Today, uh, we have a number of new concepts. We have blended learning, uh, which is the use of many types of sources for education. Uh, you can have a, a PDF or a pre-recorded pre video before you go into the discussion in the classroom and so on. Uh, MOOCs, which we discussed a little bit before, and uh, essentially flipped classroom, uh, which is uh, the, the use of uh, technology to bring uh, students remotely in or teachers remotely out uh, of the classroom. Uh, the majority of um, watch it again um, 
infrastructures like um, review um, can allow us now today with the usage of our player to complete tasks, to do polls and quizzes, to um, give our feedback directly to the rest of the students and, and for them to give us as well. Um, um, and I think that also what's important is really that those students are able to choose their own timing. In the past, when it was about you know, like teaching and learning content, it was like one-to-one -one or one-to-many, of course, but without the possibility to master your timing. If you want to watch again a content, a class, at night, the evening, in the transport, you now have the full possibility to do it. And like you said, to complete your task, to engage with, with your teacher and your other students, which is a huge benefit compared to what it used to be in the past. I think uh, in terms of engaging and sharing, uh, you're, you're not only sharing content, but you're sharing knowledge as well. Yes. Um, uh, you know, you, you see a lot of the, a lot of the times uh, students that are very little engaged during the class itself uh, because they're, they're afraid of raising their hands or so on. But when you use a type of system like this and, and you have a little bit of that veil of the, the computer in front of you, you're able to more directly ask the questions that you don't understand and, and get the content over and over in front of you as many times as you need in, in order to learn it. Yeah. So did you know that um, a learner uh, assimilates 50% of what they hear and see as opposed to 70% um, of what they share with others? Actually, I did because I saw the slides before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, well, actually, you know, uh, being smart for you, because uh, you saw the slides before and we went through, through this before, 95% um, of what somebody teaches you, in this case, you remember. No, I do. So um, it's very important uh, for us to, to be able to review the content. It's, it's very important for us to um, put the content in the hands of the students so they can tell each other what it is that they took away from a conversation or from a group learning such as uh, the ones that we organized with Vision Exchange. Yes, which is exactly the same objective because at the end of the day, like we said, the goal is really to make sure that we are able to offer you the solutions for the need that you have, whether it's for video watching and learning or inside the, room with, inside the rooms with group activities. So wherever we are doing, we take those into consideration and we make sure that what we deliver to you really are profitable for everyone, the students and the teachers. So um, the, the how to from social <laughs> learning. Um, <coughs> In this case, you're, you're, what you're watching on your screen is a, a mock-up of our player, which is what you're using uh, right now to interact with us. Um, it offers you chronology. Uh, everything <coughs> that your students or yourself do throughout a class is being timestamped. It's been uh, segmented and it's been marked so that it can be then later easily indexed and used by your students or by yourself. Um, it offers you interactivity. So every time that a student interacts with the video, every time that uh, somebody gives their opinion or adds a file into the video, that content becomes richer and richer as time goes. It used to be that content uh, was perishable because a video was a simple flat form of one to many um, delivery. And as uh, time passed or content uh, creation advanced, that content was no longer relevant. In this case, we can enrich the content by adding more to it as a community. And I guess it's also a good way for teachers, for example, to get feedback based on what they did on the video content, on you know, the content that is shared, for them also to be able to learn from it, to see what works, what didn't work, and to work to improve this content over years for the next generation of students. Absolutely, and, and not only that, they can actually gauge the level of retention by uh, quizzing the, their students or get their opinion using polls as well, um, which, is, which is one of the, the most used uh, systems in, in our um, solution. solution.
Okay, so now to, to the point of the <coughs> webinar, the reason that you guys are here, we're going to talk about the integration of content into your LMS and how simple it is. Our system, uh, the Ubica system, uses the LTI protocol to integrate uh, the system uh, from one to another. Okay. Okay, so it's a learning tool integration uh, protocol for those who don't know. But um, let's talk about for a minute about the slide that's on the screen. So w what slows down uh, the process of, of education uh, or the content creation in education? One part of it is the psychology of it. Uh, when a teacher has been teaching for a long time, um, they're used to their ways of teaching. Uh, when you introduce a new system like a VLE, into uh, the fold, they have to learn the system and they have to arrange their new pensum based on this technology. Now, we live in a very fast-paced world and we are constantly developing new technologies. When we introduced Lecture Capture, the, one of the first hurdles that we had was um, adoption by the users, not so much by the universities, but by the users themselves. Um, so, as we said, we're trying to make it as inobtrusive as possible and as easy to use so that there is not that psychological blockage. And Which I guess is the most important because at the end of the day, in our view, if we want the solutions to be used in an efficient way, what matters the most is simplicity. These solutions need to be very simple to use and the integration in your existing workflows. What we aim is not to tell you how you need to change your system, how you need to work differently than in the past, but to offer you solutions that you integrate very simply in your existing system, in your existing LMS, VLE, and so on, for them to be you know, like very smooth in terms of deployment, very smooth in terms of use, wherever it is for Ubicast, but also for other solutions like campus management and so on. Yeah, uh, but the other part is the organization, because, you know, you, you don't want to have a system on top of another, no. on top of another, on top of another, and have uh, <laughs> your your learners and your users uh, not know which goes what or or when. So um, when we refer to the uh, LTI protocol, is specifically designed for that. It's specifically designed so that your tools all talk to each other and uh, you end up with a globalized learning tool system that will allow you to uh, program a recording, know where that recording is going to end, and uh, who is allowed to watch that content as well. So... This is maybe something that you want to show too? Uh, yeah, that's, that's something we're going to show uh, in a sec. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to get out of the, the slides for a second and I'm going to show you how uh, we can integrate a piece of content pre-recorded with Ubicast into a Moodle LMS. Okay? so. Just a quick sec, we're going to go right into the web browser. So we're already logged in into the Moodle test system from Ubicast. I'm going to have to apologize because it's not the most fashionable Moodle that, uh, that's out there. But uh, we only use it for testing the resources and making sure that everything works the way it should. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on uh, My Video Tools. Uh, which is going to take me to the Ubicast video toolbar. So this is actually part of the media server uh, system that has been linked through LTI into Moodle. So uh, I can do a variety of things here, Tom. Uh, I can upload a video. Uh, so if I had a video on my computer, on my phone, I can upload it to media server and inject it into my uh, education tool, in this case Moodle. I could activate uh, Web Studio, which is um, the capability from Media Server for me to create content via software. So I could uh, create a video using my webcam and my screen. No, which is actually very powerful. I mean, today, of course, we speak about universities and education in general. But when you look into the corporate and how easy it could be to just, you know, like capture a presentation, a webcam, and distribute this content to everyone for training or for sharing content, 
sharing information. Absolutely. It's very powerful. Absolutely. Now, then, uh, the next one is uh, what we're here for, the video library, which is what we're going to do in, in one more sec, <coughs> and uh, <coughs> moderate annotations and comments. So the teacher has the capability to moderate and see what comments are valid, what questions they, they need to approve or disapprove uh, before allowing them into the system. Sure. And so, uh, without further ado, <laughs> I'm going to integrate a video from our video library into Moodle. So I'm going to click over here. It brings me to the library of videos to which I have access to. Okay. So uh, this would be all the videos that a teacher uh, has uh, made previously. So uh, we're going to select uh, to copy the LTI link. Once that's done, we go back to the uh, test course. So we add an interactivity or a resource from an external tool. And what we're going to do here is uh, say webinar test. We are going to paste the LTI link and simply save and display. Just a quick sec while it loads. And we have a video <laughs> from you because integrated into in your uh, Moodle course. <coughs> so it's part of a, a traditional course that can be part of uh, a section uh, of uh, what you're trying to convey to your students as well. So it's, it's that simple. It's, it's, that's all it takes. No, I think it's a very good example because, again, in this Moodle environment, we and you because didn't change anything at all. It's really part of the global environment of Moodle. And the solution is in there, easy to integrate, easy to use and again, to not change any workflow for the teachers or anyone in the university. And since I taught you how to do mm. it, now you probably retain 95% of it. Maybe. So um, now for those of you who are watching, normally we offer one month mm. of uh, media server trials for free. Uh, but in this case, uh, we'll, we'll offer you two. So if you would like that, uh, please click on the link and uh, make sure you use the promo code promo webinar. Uh, we're going to be taking questions in a yes. few seconds, right? Um, let Is me. There questions? I, I believe there are. So let's move on to the question slides of the webinar. Uh, we have one from Valentin Chevalier. Is it GDPR compliant as the LTI link needs to be taken from the Ubicast server? It is. Uh, because the LTI uh, protocol does not share any personal information, um, we have done a lot of uh, study together with the universities, actually, in order to uh, remain GDPR compliant. Do we have any other questions around uh, Antoine? And just in case, maybe for those of you who will also watch this webinar after the live, so with the recorded session, don't hesitate also to really ask your questions on the platform because it's not because the webinar is over that we will not look into them and again to make sure that we will deliver you with the right answer. So never hesitate to really share a comment, share a feedback, and share questions because we will really take the ah, questions. So we have another one. Let's see. Alice, how can I find out if Ubicas is question. compatible with my LMS? Um, no, the, the, the easiest way to find out if Ubicas is compatible to your LMS is to check with your team uh, if uh, your mm -hmm. LMS is LTI compliant. Um, otherwise, of course, uh, yeah. we are absolutely reachable at any given time. You have maybe um, a few examples of LTI compliant? Yeah, uh, actually we do. Uh, Moodle is one of them. Uh, Canvas, um, Brightspace, uh, Blackboard, uh, they're mm -hmm. all uh, LTI compliant LMSs. We also are able to export content directly in SCORM format from our hardware so that you can integrate it manually into your uh, uh, LMS if you, if you have one that is not LTI compliant. So 
Is it LTI common to Canvas and Blackboard as well? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, Blackboard and Canvas <laughs> are supported uh, LMSs from our systems. Uh, Laurent? And I think you answered that one. So mm -hmm. Ubicas is being able to use with any LMS, which is LTI compatible. And David gave a few examples already. So there's a lot of questions uh, regarding compatibility. Um, I would say, you know, regarding <coughs> compatibility, the first step is to check whether your LMS is LTI compliant. Um, it's very, uh, it's, it's a very quick e and easy uh, check. If not, uh, you can always take contact uh, with our team uh, on sales at ubicast.eu or um, with your Sony account manager or your Sony account manager as well, uh, and we will get the information for you. Do we have any other questions around? Okay, so I think that's our time for today. Um, thank you very much for attending. Uh, my name is David. This is Thomas. This is Tilmi. Thank you very much for, for joining today. Thank you, David, as well, for the great presentation. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.